In this video, we're going to practice solving inventory management problems. So let's start. Okay, so we start with uh, practice problem one. Um, it's about the uh, shoes store. Um, the manager is wondering what should be the optimal uh, order quantity for this kind of shoes. So what do we know about um, this product, we have a, a demand of 750 pairs for every three months, so that's the quarterly demand. Uh, we have an ordering cost of 75, so this is our S, remember. Holding cost is 20%, so this is I. And this is the price structure provided by the supplier. So obviously we can see that here we have quantity discount. As the manager increases his uh, order quantity, he can get a better price. So the question is, what should be our optimal order quantity to minimize our cost? All right, so um, as we learned um, when we uh, discussed this model, this is obviously an EOQ model with quantity discounts, where we cannot neglect anymore uh, the purchase price. So it becomes a relevant cost. Right, and since the carrying cost is given is a percentage, so we need to find what's H, right, for every price, because H is equal to I times C, right? It's the 20% times the corresponding uh, cost unit, unit cost. So here I'm going to add a column where I uh, determine the H or the unit carrying cost per, unit, per, per year, for every uh, price interval. Okay, so um, as we learned in the procedure, we always start by finding the EOQ corresponding to the lowest price, okay, which is 34. So I'm giving here a subscript for the EOQ because we're going to um, we're going to determine different EOQs so that you don't get confused. I'm giving the subscript. So this EOQ correspond to a price of 34. And where can I see that change in my EOQ formula? It's here in the 6.8. 6.8 was determined by multiplying I times 34, right? And we got this 6.8. So we got 257. But before we proceed, let's find these parameters. How did we get them? Uh, 75, it's already uh, discussed. It's this is the ordering cost and 3000. What's that? 3000. Okay, we are told that demand every three months is 750, which means the annual demand. Remember, in the EOQ formula here, uh, th this D um, denotes the annual demand, so that gives us an EOQ of 257. Now we look and compare the 257 to the range that uh, the supplier is providing us. So he's giving us a price of 34 only if we order more than 500. Since the EOQ is 257, so remember we said this is not a feasible quantity. It does not make us eligible for this uh, price discount. So we move on to the second price, which is 36. So also here we find the EOQ. Again, here you notice that I'm giving the subscript and it's 250. We compare it to the range 350 to 499 and it's out of the range. So which means this is not feasible also, right? So it's not, it's not a feasible quantity. It cannot give us that price discount. And you you notice here that I use a different uh, uh, carrying cost per unit, different than the 6.8 that I used here, right? Because when the price is 36, H is 7.2 now. And that's why I got a different value for the EOQ. Now we start, we, we move on to the EOQ of the uh, higher price, which is 38. Also here you notice that I use a different H, which I got it here by multiplying 20% by 38. So I get 7.6. I plug it here and we get 243. 
243 is also outside this range so it's not feasible again and that's why I have to move on to the last EOQ corresponding to the price of 40 so also here I used a different H which is 20% times $40 and we get 237 units which is of course uh, feasible because it lies within this range now remember that this is not we cannot now conclude that this is our best quantity because that happened to be an EOQ no what we have to do next is we need to compare the total relevant cost corresponding to 237 units with the total relevant cost corresponding to every breakpoint quantity what are the big breakpoint quantities these are the minimum quantity that will give us better price so the first one is 250 which give us a better price of 38 better than 40 also i have another breakpoint quantity which is 350 give us a better price of 36 and the last breakpoint quantity is 500 because beyond that or starting from that quantity i can get a 34 dollars so let's go on and find the total relevant cost of these four uh, quantities the eoq of 237 and for the 250 350 and 500 okay so let's um, find the total relevant costs uh, for every uh, quantity that's um, um, that's possible for us so these are our options and then we'll decide uh, the best option uh, before doing that uh, let me just remind you uh, of what we found in the previous slide so given uh, this price structure given to us by uh, our supplier and we found the carrying cost ourselves so that we can find the corresponding EOQ so these were the EOQs that we found okay um, and we found this one to be a feasible one while this is not feasible again let me remind you why these were not why we said that these are not feasible because if we order 243 which is the optimal quantity given this price which then allowed us to find this carrying cost so this is the optimal quantity but if we order that the supplier find it that it's not in the range that he specified for us so he was not going to give us this price right so that's why we said that this is not feasible so we don't have the option to order these quantities uh, if we want to get these prices however this does not mean that we cannot benefit from the price discount anymore no in fact we can all right so i'm going to add here one column um, that specifies what then would be the best quantity for every range and here we go of course for the first one the best quantity is nothing but the uq because we learned that in the uq model that this is the best quantity to order and since it was feasible so this is our best quantity however in the three other ranges okay the best quantity would be because the eoq were not feasible so we're going to go for the break point quantity for every uh, interval so you see this comes from from here this is the break point quantity that then the supplier will accept to give me the price the discounted price and the 350 is the same this is the break point quantity and the 500 again it's the break point quantity all right now you may wonder then okay if i want to benefit from uh, the price discount of 38 or the discount price of 38 why would i go for 250 why not more why not 260 300 whatever as long as i'm within the range the the answer for this is uh, in fact um, obvious because the total cost curve looks like that so let's say for for this range 250 to 349 we found the eoq to be 243 so this is the 243 it's here okay however we cannot get this uh, uh, discount unless if we order 250 up to 349 okay so this is the range so if i want to benefit from this price discount i have to order any quantity within this range and what should be the best one 
the, the answer is in front of us. I have to order this minimum quantity. Why? Because beyond that, the, 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 the cost is increasing. You can see that the cost is increasing. And that's why we go for the minimum one. All right. So let's find now the total relevant cost for all these best quantities in each option. And then we decide on the one that give us the lowest uh, uh, cost. So I'm going to give again a subscript for the total relevant cost because we're going to do four of these so that you don't get confused. Okay, the first one is correspond to the EOQ, so it's always Q over 2 times H, and here you have to be careful because in each one of these calculations, H is different, and what's also different is the price, okay? So, all the others will be the same, of course, except the Q. Q also will be changing, obviously. So, we get a total relevant cost for the first one, 121,000. And you notice here that this one is equal to that one, right? We, we learned that, that because in EOQ, the holding cost is equal to the ordering cost. Now let's find the total relevant cost corresponding to the breakpoint quantity, which is 250. So you, you notice here that this will be different now, 7.6. And uh, this is different. It's the 38 because if I order 250, the supplier gives me the uh, discounted price of 38. Here we notice that these two are not the same. Yes, this is understood because 250 is not in EOQ. Okay, and we get a maximum a total cost of 116,000. For total relevant cost of 350, again this is changing and the uh, unit price is 36 now, and we get 111. Uh, 1825 and finally the total relevant cost for 500 we have a, a carrying cost of 6.8 and the unit price is 34 and this will result in 108 to 45 uh, dollars per year so let me update my table with these costs and here we go now i have these four options, one, two, three, and four. And for each option, I have a corresponding cost. So obviously we're going to choose the option that give me the minimum cost, and this is the one. So I'm going to order 500 pairs. Okay, so I hope that this is clear for you.